Hey Mix. Oh, oh my god, not again. Uh -huh, what, what are you, you doing? doing? <laughs> what? Hey Mix, what part are we on? Part nine! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so the next one that we're going to be doing today is the build off. So we got to complete the constructor build off mission. Can I be your superhero? Superhero. Which is super easy. It is a, it's a, it's a special mission. You can access this by hitting play now, or you can go to your quest log and you can see the build off mission right here. Quest logs in the bottom right main mission build off you can see in the bottom right it says play either way you can access the mission the other way that you can access it is actually going to your map page going to stonewood and you can actually see the special mission appear right on the side here the constructor build off the dur and it's actually uh, the Durberger build off in stonewood it's a special mission type with a special area so we're going to go and do this one right now and show you guys exactly how to complete the build off Okay, so travel to the marked location on the map. As you can see, it's in the shadow. We're gonna go and just, uh, yeah, we're gonna check it out. All right, there we go. Looks like an atlas. Place atlas on the target. We're just gonna get this junk out of the way here, clear the zone. Looks like they have a plan for us and uh, all we have to do is follow their guide. Very simple. Get all this junk out of the way. Okay, looking good. Well, oh, almost. Get out of here, Durberger. Give me your metal, Van. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so there is our plan that Mr. Kyle has laid out for us. So all we have to do is build what we see. So select a floor. You can see, edit the floor. We don't have to edit anything because it just looks what it looks like. So we're going to put the floors down. You can actually hold hold it down if you have turbo build on and just build the whole floor just like that easy peasy now we're gonna put up the walls next so you just put up the walls like this just like you see just follow the the directions that's what a wall looks like we are just painting the exact design that they have on there so you don't have to edit anything just a basic default wall now we got some ceiling pieces we're going to place those next there we go ceiling places down okay now we're going to do the pyramid structure now these are a little different as you can see there's two up two down or sorry three down one up it's a little weird right but all you have to do is build a pyramid and you just do what they say. So you got th you can have the up, up pieces or down pieces. So you need these three are the down pieces. And this one is the up piece. Just like that. And that will make the piece that you see. You see this is a pyramid. This would be a ramp. And there is a corner piece right there. So three down, one up. Just like it says on the directions. Three down, one up. And edit. There it is. Place it complete now we can go to this side here we're going to do the same thing on this one three up one down so we're actually just going to rotate our piece with the rotate you can see right in the middle it says rotate so we're going to rotate it until it fits alternatively you could edit this there's your pyramid pull the piece up there's your corner boom easy right easy peasy so now this one here they want us to go and create a ramp using a pyramid so that means two down two up you see that two down two up so there's your pyramid we're going to edit the pyramid two down two up and that'll create a nice little ramp here so from this angle here you can see this two down two up so we're going to go and edit the piece and put these two up like it wants there we go, two down, two up, and place. Same thing here, they want two down, two up, place. We're gonna unedit our piece, and then move up to the top, and here we have 
four walls and a pyramid. So the pyramid, just a regular pyramid, all four down. As you can see, it says right here, all four down and place. Now we want four walls, or sorry, three walls. One, two, three walls. And they want a roof on top. And that's it. Done. Okay, so now they want us to work on the western defenses. They have a new plan for us on this side here. So we're going to start with the floors. Floors are easy. We'll work from the ground and work our way up. So we'll put the floors down. Now it wants us to go and put up some walls. So we'll put the walls up next. There's our walls. Now we'll work on the roof pieces. go there's a roof piece there and now we'll put in fill in the gap so now we've got uh, a ramp and we got a corner wall and we got a base wall so for this one here it's really simple we just need to create a wall with two in the corner so we go like this there's our wall we just want to paint it the same so we'll get rid of all of this stuff here two in the corner just like it says place this one here they want us to get rid of all but the bottom three so we'll do that, bottom three, just like it says, and place. This one is bottom two in the corner, so we're gonna paint it just the way it says, just like that, and place. This one here, we can actually rotate. We can flip our piece over to make it fit. So it's two in the bottom corner, just like it says, and boom. Last but not least, we got the two up, two down, so we take the pyramid piece out, we edit this to have two up, two down, and there's our ramp. All right, so what are we missing? We're missing one piece. Ah, oh, yes, I see. So we're missing the piece on the inside. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna place that floor right above the objective, like so. Okay, so now they want us to place some traps. So it looks like we have enemies coming from two different sides, one on the left and one on the right. So what we're going to do, I guess we have to build some traps to place some traps. So what we're going to do is we're going to build some wall darts. One, two, wall darts will place here because we got enemies coming from this side. So my thoughts are they're going to have to come from here, right? They're going to come straight in and then they're going to go this way or this way and then in. So we want the uh, wall darts on either side of here to shoot straight across. So any of the enemies that decide to walk in here are gonna get shot in the face. Uh, next, we wanna build some wooden floor spikes. Two wooden floor spikes should do the trick. We want one here and one here. Now I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna put up my own wall and I'm gonna modify this one. Put up my own wall, modify this one to guarantee that these enemies have to come in here like they're supposed to. Next, I'm gonna change this one here, like this. That way, we force the enemies to walk across here into our traps. This is a much better design. Now the enemies have to walk across our traps and get shot in the face as well. So that is a much stronger defense. Reset our pieces, we're gonna use this to jump over. We're gonna go take a look at this side. So now we have enemies coming from over here. Okay, so they're gonna to wanna to run in. Okay, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna change this design. We're gonna break this down. We're gonna go like this. This is much better. So now what we're doing here, is we've opened this up so that any enemies that come from this side, they are all completely blocked off on this side, right? We're actually gonna go like this just to block them even more so that there's no other way. The easiest path for them to come into the base is right here. So this allows us to create a super, super easy defense that works like this. Wooden floor spike right here. Put a wall here. We're gonna put a wall dart facing in towards the base so when they walk in over here they're going to immediately get shot by the wall dart and the wall dart will actually shoot one two three 
it'll shoot all the way across. It'll trigger and hit everybody that's in here. So we're going to remove this truck here. We want all the enemies to come in here. Any enemy that walks over this spike trap is going to be slowed all the way till here. Spike traps, even once you leave a spike trap, the slowing effect persists for a full square and a half square. So pretty much covering that entire tunnel. Now we're going to go and take the gas trap and we're going to place that one right here at the start of the tunnel. So any enemy that walks under here is going to get burnt up. Next, we're going to go like this. We're going to go and create a wall here and a wall here. And that way, the enemies have to walk in and get slowed for the longest possible distance as they walk in. Also, this also makes it so that when the enemies walk in, they'll get hit immediately by the wall dart without triggering the gas trap so that any enemies that the wall dart doesn't kill will then trigger the gas trap and get killed much, much harder. What we don't want is an enemy to walk in this corner here and trigger the wall dart and the gas trap at the same time, get killed by the wall dart and then have the gas trap shoot nothing. So we want the wall dart to shoot, kill, and then whatever gets through then gets killed by our gas trap. Perfect. Now that's a defense. I think we're ready. We need one more trap. Okay, so one more trap. We'll take one of these guys here. We'll take a ceiling zapper. Ceiling zappers do one big blast of damage. So we're going to use that as our last line of defense right here. So whoever gets through gets killed. Okay, there we go. There's our eight traps. We needed eight traps. We built eight traps. We've got defense on this side, defense on this side, defense on this side. This side is much, much stronger because we got to build this entire trap tunnel ourselves. So we made it extremely, extremely lethal. Everything's funneled into one lane and then completely destroyed by three different damage traps and one slow trap. This one here only has one trap per side with a slow on either side. It would have been much better to actually funnel everything into the middle like we done, did on that side. But what's going to end up happening is we'll spend most of our time defending on this side to make sure that this side holds up. And, uh, and that's it. Now all we got to do is open the mission control and run the mission. Oh, we're going to need some blue glow. Uh, we see some blue glow on the map just over there. We're going to go grab that blue glow. And we actually see a survivor over there. We're going to rescue him as well and hopefully get some more materials for us to build more traps and more loot. And there's our blue glow start mission and we're good to go. All right, so we'll look on the map here and we can see what direction the enemies are coming from. We got one on the left, three on the right. So let's see, uh, yeah, let's take a look and see how our defenses hold up. So there's the enemy here coming in. He's got a shield above his head. Our wall dart should take care of him. Ooh, it did not take care of him. And on this side here, our base defense is held fantastically. So these little, uh, these little shielders protected the enemy. So as you can see, our, our defenses on this side are doing much better. These little shields make it much harder for the, uh, the wall darts to defend these sides. But with our gas, we have three different layers of traps on this side. Starting with the gas, the gas destroys all of the, uh, Oh, hello guys. Grenade out. When you're fighting against shielders, you need to have multiple stages of defense. One will kill the shield guy, and then one will kill the enemy being protected by the shield. So we need to kill the shield first. And that's where it really helps to have multiple, multiple traps. And that's why this base on this side is vastly inferior to the other base. Because this one here has multi-stages of defense which can deal with multiple enemies. Whereas this one only has one stage on either side. Much better to condense into a single funnel. Single funnel, much, much stronger than double funnel. And if you look, both si th this side has the same amount of traps, right? We have four traps on this side. We have four traps on this side. And you can see this one is getting hit by m like far, far more enemies. And it's, it's having, you know, very little difficulty dealing, dealing with the attacks. Sometimes it's effective to use a melee weapon to push enemies back when you have traps. 
it gives your traps longer to uh, to deal with the threats. As you can see, we've taken some damage to the Atlas. Some enemies have squeaked through, mostly on this side. And the better your trap tunnels are, the less you're going to have enemies squeaking through. We're going to use a lot more more bullets to suppress. I don't really want to take any more damage to the uh, to the main base, so we're going to be a little bit more aggressive to help our traps out. The traps have cooldowns, right? They can't shoot all the time. You can even use your body to block the enemies. If you get in the way of the enemies, the enemies will attack you, so you can actually stop them from getting in. You stop them, they'll attack you instead of walking into the base. And it can give you that little bit more time you need to finish them off. And there you go. Pretty easy win. Now you can build more traps if you need, right? You don't have to build the base. You, you build the base that they tell you to build, but then you can modify the base before you do the actual defense. So you're not stuck using their defenses if you don't want to, because honestly their defenses are pretty poor, pretty weak, and they put a lot of unnecessary stress on you to you know move fast and like you know respond to a base that really can't hold its own so if you need if you need to modify the base after the building phase you can go and change the whole thing you can create a trap tunnel like i made on the one side and really make it a, a proper solid trap tunnel to make sure that your your traps do the job effectively and really truly you can use more than eight traps we use eight traps just to show you guys uh, how to beat the quest with what they give you but you can build more traps if you need more traps you can take time to farm and prepare so that this mission is not stressful for you if you're especially if you're running it solo with no friends and it's just you having to defend two different sides you need to make sure that you have proper trap setups in order to beat this effectively without stressing yourself out or having to you know defend in a panic <laughs> All right, and that's our build off, easy peasy. We'll show you how to build all those tunnels and once you get the hang of uh, how to properly tunnel and trap enemies, you'll find missions like this will be super, super easy and you can get that win. Oh yeah! <laughs> they enter stealth mode and power down. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, to damn repair it. the shelter, we'll need to reactivate <laughs> all of the construction bots. Those danger zones, man. Danger zones. Really effective. You're gonna need some help finding those missing construction boxes. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. No! Life is a 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 no